Hello, my fellow mathematician. You want to see how we integrate the product of sine and that of cos. We make use of this identity whereby when you have sine, product of sine of a and cos of b, you, it is given by half sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. So uh, we are going to have this example here. Example. Example 1. You are to integrate sine of 3x multiplied by cos of 5x dx. So in this case here, our a is equal to 3 and our b is equal to 5. So we are going to employ this identity. So sine of 3x multiplied by cos of 5x can be written as half into bracket sine of uh, 3 plus 5 that is x plus sine of 3 minus 5 x we close the bracket then simplify to as half sine of 8 x uh, plus half sine of negative uh, 2 x so integral of sine of 3x multiplied by cos of 5x dx is equal to half integral of sine of 8x dx dx uh, minus half integral of sine of 2x dx so making use of that identity that is what we are going to up so we integrate the first part we are going to get half multiplied by 1 over 8 multiplied by is uh, i mean integral of sine is negative cos of 8x minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 multiplied by negative of cos of 2x plus a constant c. This is equal to uh, this is equal to negative of 1 over 16 cos of 8x plus 1 over 4 cos of 2x plus c. So that is integral. In the next case, we want to consider whereby now you have integral of the product of sine nx and sine of uh, mx dx. So here we make use of this identity which tells us that if you have sine uh, sine a and sine b is given by what? Cos of a minus b then minus cos of a plus b. You close the bracket. So you are going to make use of this identity. Example. Let's say you have integral of a uh, sine of 3x multiplied by sine of x dx. So first of all, we simplify sine of 3x sine of x. Here, our a is 3 and our b is 1. So we make use of this identity here. We will have half into bracket cos of our a is 3, 3 minus uh, 1 minus cos of 3 plus uh, 1. This will give you half 
uh, cos of 2x minus cos of 4x. So, integral, integral of sine of 3x, sine of x dx is the same as half integral of cos of 2x minus uh, this half here is everywhere minus a half integral cos of 4x uh, dx uh, so here we will have half multiplied by 1 over 2 after integrating this uh, sine of 2x minus half multiplied by 1 over 4 1 over 4 uh, sine of 4x plus constant c hence integral of sine of 3x multiplied by sine of x dx is given by 1 over 4 this one here sine of 2x minus 1 over 8 sine of 4x plus constant c plus constant c next we consider the case where by now you have a uh, when by now you have cos of nx multiplied by cos of mx dx. How do we integrate that? We make use of this identity half bracket cos of a a minus b plus cos of a plus b is equal to that is equal to cos of a multiplied by cos of b so that is the identity we are going to use we give a simple example here example you are to integrate cos of 4x uh, cos of 2x dx so first of all we can do cos of 4x cos of 2x in in that case our a our a here is 4 our b is equal to 2 so this we have said it is a big bracket cos of 4 our a is 4 our b is 2 then you write x plus cos of a uh, bracket 4 plus 2 x everything close the bracket so 4 minus 2 is 2 so you will have a uh, cos of 2x uh, plus a uh, cos of 4 plus 2 is 6 6x so now the next step is uh, integral of cos of 4x multiplied by cos of 2x dx is given by half we substitute this with this part here cos of 2x plus half integral cos of 6x dx which is equal to half multiplied by 1 over 2. The integral of cos is sine. Then you write what is in the bracket. Plus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 6. This one here. Integral of cos is sine. Then you write 2, I mean 6x. 6x plus constant c. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times sine is sine of uh, 2x uh, divided by 4 plus 
1 times 1 will give you 1, 1 times sine will give you sine of 6x divided by plus constant c. So that is the integral of sine of, sorry, of cos of 4x cos of 2x dx. The integral is this part here. So thanks so much for taking your time to study with me on calculus 2 and on how to integrate the the product of cos and the product of sine now for other integration of the powers the powers the powers of sine and the cosine and the other trigonometric function you can check on my youtube channel which is which is called look arun one when you go to youtube channel and you type look arun one you are going to get other integration of trigonometric function and also integration by substitution integration by part and integration of polynomial function integration of exponential function integration of logarithmic function and also you are going to get other materials on calculus one then the, the differential calculus and you will learn together with me also remember to like to share and also to subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss a single video which i upload every day bye bye see you in the next video